Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video showing you a swap that I'm hosting on Two Shabby Sisters um, in group and um, I wanted, I'm going to mail this out but I wanted to um, post this on for, I'm a little late in the month but I'm going to post it for February. Um, I host a group for die cutting um, swapping and last month I had put down oh you know to do so many of different sizes but I don't think I want to do that I think I just want to do like a goodie bag because um, Lisa, uh, Leslie and I had just she didn't have like big ones and so I just said oh just fill you know just put whatever you want to put in a bag so I decided that for me, for what I was going to send her, that I would just make her a little bag and fill it up. So I made this little lunch bag. Um, I decorated, and this wasn't part of the requirement, but that I'm going to for this month, for February. I want to just say to make, you know, to make a little lunch bag, um, or whatever kind of bag. I mean, I don't know that I feel care about that. Just like, you know, get a little, this is just a little lunch bag. And um, decorate it. Just, it didn't have to be extravagant. I just covered it with some papers and I stuck a little um, gorgeous girl image on it. And then I had this little, um, this actually is a die cut from uh, Stephanie Bernard at Stamps of Life. Has a set with Sizzix that um, was a tree and some birds. And I just went ahead and cut that out and stamped them. Although, I have to say, I really don't care for the leaves very well. But... I just think this should be bigger. The leaves are quite small compared to the tree. Um, then I had this little fence, and this is actually a wood fence. Um, and then I happened to have some little grass cutouts already. Um, I think I did this on my Cricut at one time. It was actually in a stash that I had. Because one of the things that Leslie and I joked about was, um, we have a bunch of die cuts and then we never use them. So I actually used these, Leslie. Um, I actually liked them. I need to cut some more. So, um, so I did that on the front, and I'm still using my recollection uh, paper. So, um, and then on the back, I just had put some more paper, and I just I wanted something um, on the back, so I just put a little piece of lace here to kind of cover up that part. And then I just stuck some, tied it off here with a little bow on the top. So, I just closed the inside. And then, um, what I've done on the inside here is I've filled it with die cuts. Now, I'm going to, sorry, it's just going to get wobbly for a second when I move my tripod. So, this, um, I just used a bunch of punches or die cuts and put them in baggies. So, and then labeled. So, this is my creative time, scale apart, and... I just used various, and you know, this is a good way to use up scraps. Like this particular one, this was a Tim Holtz um, Tattered Leaves. And I just stuck a bunch. I had done like, um, I don't know, four, five different colored pieces of paper. And I just ran it through my Sizzix, um, you know, Tim Holtz dye. But then, you know, this always leaves you a bunch of dead space when you use your those dies. Well then I had this little branch um, Martha Stewart punch so I just took in um, the same paper with all that dead space and I just punched out these little branches and so I stuck the branches in a baggie. And then this was um, these are some um, different ones from my creative time. So it's nice to label your bags so the person knows what they're getting and you know a lot of times in my spare time, I just, um, yeah, like we have spare time, but I just, I keep a stash of this stuff for myself, um, bagged up so when I want to do something. So, um, you know, I had some of this stuff already made up, so um, I just, you know, put it in there. Um, this particular one I don't have labeled because I actually bought these online. There were some flower um, petals that I got off eBay, um, so I don't know where that came from. And this is some more of my creative time flowers. I love my creative time. I have a ton of my creative time stuff. This is um, some more doilies from her. Um, these are some chunky jar accessories that I have from her. 
So these are just some a uh, couple different Martha Stewart butterfly punches that I have that I did. And see, this is just a great way to use up your scraps. And I know that May May was talking about doing the same thing as um, racks. I bought, um, you know, chalkboard um, is like the end thing right now at Michaels, and you can. And I almost bought. They have like the some labels, stickers or something the other day, and I almost bought some. And I was like, why in the world would I do that? Because I have a big stack from DCWV of chalkboard paper, the chalkboard stack. And I have this label die. So I just came home and I punched out a bunch of my just each color of that stack. And I did a package for Leslie and I did a package for myself. And um, although Michaels keeps being out of that stupid chalkboard marker, um, I keep taking my coupon every week when I drop my son off to get what it is out. Some die uh, banners. This is an extra large label. And this is the bow die. And then I do have a couple things here that I'm going to send her that won't fit in my bag. Um, so, so this is um, just a quick video. I'm going to put up the swap for February. Um, just it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one swap. You'll just do one goodie bag um, of die cuts. So you're welcome to join us over on Two Shabby Sisters. There's lots of different swaps. Um, I just I host the greeting a card swap and um, the die cut swap. But there's tons of different swaps um, that you can join in on. And um, I look forward to anybody who wants to swap with us. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. Bye.